In this video, I will show you two methods to deploy VLC Media Player using Microsoft Intune. The first way, we can do it using the MSI app type. First, download the MSI installer for the application. Next, log in to the Intune Admin Center and add a Windows app. From the drop down menu, select the Line of Business app option, which supports the MSI format. Upload the MSI installer file you downloaded earlier. Once the MSI file is selected, the required fields will populate automatically. Fill in important details such as the app's name, description, and publisher. Optionally, you can upload a logo for the app by selecting an image file. On the assignments page, decide how to deploy the app. For required deployments, the app will be force installed on specified groups or devices. For available deployments, the app will appear in the company portal, allowing users to install it. Use the Uninstall Deployment option to remove the app from managed devices. You can select Add All Devices to deploy the app to all managed devices, but it's recommended to test the deployment on a small group of devices before deploying it organization-wide. If you see the message, your app is not ready yet, wait for the content upload to finish. After a few minutes, you'll receive confirmation that the upload is complete and the deployment is active. To verify deployment on a device, log in and allow time for the system to sync. You can also manually trigger a sync from Windows settings or the company portal app. After syncing, the app should be installed successfully. In the Intune portal, monitor the deployment status on the overview page where you'll see a graphical breakdown. Devices with successful installations, devices still installing, and any errors encountered. Please note that the deployment status may take some time to appear in the Intune Admin Center. Please be patient. If the app is no longer needed, you can modify its deployment settings in Intune to uninstall it. Go to the Properties section and edit the assignments. Remove the group from the Required section and add it to the Uninstall section. Wait for the sync to complete and the app will automatically be removed from target devices. Now, let's move on to the second method. Alternatively, instead of using the MSI installer, we can deploy the app using Win32 apps type. This method is more complicated, but it gives you more control over the deployment. The first step is creating some folders for Intune package creation. For example, I will create them in the D drive. Before you can add a Win32 app to Microsoft Intune, you must prepare the app by using the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep Tool. 
The tool converts application installation files into the .dot and TuneWin format. First, download the Microsoft Win32 Content Prep tool from the official Microsoft GitHub repository. Extract the downloaded zip file. And we will get the prep tool, the license, a readme, and the release notes. We just need the prep tool. So let's copy it to the Intune folder that we've created in the previous step. Make sure the file Intune WinAppUtil.exe is located at the same level as the input and output folders. Rename the MSI installer to setup.msi and copy it into the input folder you created earlier. At this moment, you can see the structure of the Intune folder. All files and folders in the input folder will be compressed into an .intunewin file format. After the conversion, the final Intune package will be saved into the output folder. Next, open PowerShell or Terminal as administrator. Navigate to the Intune folder using the cd command. Now, run the Intune WinAppUtil tool. The tool will guide you to enter the required parameters step by step. Specify the path of the input folder as the source folder. Enter the full path of the setup.msi file. And the path of the output folder for the generated.intunwin file. Press Enter. The application is now doing its magic, creating the .intunwin file for us. Check the output folder to verify that the .intunewin file is there. Finally, deploy the app using Win32 app type instead of line of business app. When selecting the app package file, browse to the Intune output folder and select the Intune package file you prepared earlier. Enter details such as the app's name, description, publisher, and logo, then click Next. In the program page, default settings are sufficient, so you can leave them unchanged. On the requirements page, you can specify prerequisites such as the device architecture, minimum OS version, disk space, and more. Detection rules allow you to check if the app is already installed. This prevents conflicts with other applications and ensures smooth deployment. You can either use a custom detection script or a manual MSI rule. In this video, we'll use the manual MSI rule type. The MSI product code will populate automatically, allowing the system to detect whether the app is installed. You can also define software dependencies and specify apps that must be installed first. Additionally, you can configure supersedence to directly update or replace an older version of the app. Assign the app to a group of users or devices. For testing, deploy it to a small group before rolling it out organization-wide. On this page, you can filter devices, configure end-user notifications, and set an installation deadline.
As you can see, Intune is downloading and installing the app. And the app has been successfully installed automatically.